Hey everyone, I'm Paul and I bought this Chinese scooter last spring thinking I could fix it up real quick and ride it. Well, it had a million problems and I have a really long video about fixing all of them here. This video is just about the exhaust leak. The muffler looks pretty good, but when I looked under the scooter, I found this weird bolt holding the pipe onto the engine. Oh, and here's another bolt that matches the one on the exhaust. This is a quarter inch by 20 bolt from the hardware store. That's the wrong thread pitch for this scooter, but dude managed to cross thread a bolt like this into the cylinder head. That's very bad news. As you can hear, I have a very bad exhaust leak and something is rattling in the transmission. This one bolt isn't doing a good job holding the pipe. I removed the entire fuel system so I can lay the scooter on its side without spilling gas. I want to take a closer look at the exhaust. I have one cross threaded bolt holding the pipe onto the engine. Let's remove it with a flat screwdriver bit. That muffler cement didn't really seal the exhaust leak either. So weird. I thought for sure that would work. It looks like I have a Chinese scooter bolt and a Toyota seat bolt holding my muffler on. Now it's ready to come out. The lower exhaust stud is broken off in the head. I'll have to cut it flat with the Dremel tool, then drill it out. The upper one has been cross-threaded with the wrong bolt, so these threads are also destroyed. I'll have to drill both of them out and cut larger diameter threads. The frame is in the way, and I don't have enough room to work, so the engine has to come out. I have to disconnect everything from the engine, starting with the electrical connectors. Use PB Blaster if you have rust, and completely unscrew the rear brake adjuster nut. Use a drill to save some time. The cable pulls straight out of the bracket in the back, and remember to remove the small bracket on top of the CVT belt cover. Next, remove the bolt that goes through the top of the rear shock, and pull it down. The final thing holding the engine is a long through bolt that sits behind the carburetor. Hold the nut on the right side of the scooter with a wrench and use a 12mm socket to loosen the bolt. Hold the weight of the engine with your foot to take pressure off the bolt. It's not very heavy. The plastic fan shroud around the engine is very important. It directs air from the fan on the side through the cooling fins around the cylinder head. It doesn't look like much, but you must reinstall it so your engine doesn't overheat. I'm removing it so I can work on the threads here. First, I'll try to unscrew the broken stud. If you're lucky, a good set of vice grips can grip the bolt well enough to remove it. Not today. I'll have to drill this bolt out. Start by cutting it flat with the Dremel tool. You should use a center punch before you start drilling. I skipped this step, and my drill bit walked a little bit, making the hole not centered. If the drill bit gets to the edge of the bolt, it will get even more off-center because the aluminum head is softer than the steel bolt, and the drill bit will go toward the soft material. My plan is to cut larger size threads into the engine and install larger diameter studs than stock. I'm drilling both holes out to quarter inch. Clean up the extra metal and lube the holes. I used Tri-Flow, but any oil will work. Make sure the tap is lined up perfectly straight and start threading it in. A tap is similar to a bolt, but it has four channels cut out of it lengthwise to allow room for the metal shavings. Go slow and back the tap out of the hole several times to clear out all the metal. If the tap gets hard to turn, there's probably too much metal stuck in it and you have to clean it before you continue. I cut new threads in both holes, then cleaned the sealing surface with a wire brush. Use compressed air to get any metal shavings out of the new threaded holes. I used an 8mm by 1.25 tap. You can buy the tap with the right size drill bit. They recommend using a 17 64 inch drill bit. That's a weird size and it's very close to the quarter inch drill bit I already have. It's close enough, so I bought only the tap. Partsforscooters.com sells replacement exhaust stud kits for Chinese scooters. The stock size is a 6mm diameter stud. I ordered the larger 8mm studs. Remember to get a new exhaust gasket. If you look closely, that lower hole is off by a couple millimeters. Oh well, you do what you can. It will work just fine. The other hole is perfect. Use Loctite on the threads and screw the short end of the studs into the engine. I'm using the double nut technique to tighten these studs. 
You can't just grab them by the threads with vice grips. Tighten the nuts against each other, then tighten the outer one with the cap until the stud stops turning. Once the correct torque is reached, turn the nut closer to the engine clockwise to break the two nuts loose from each other. Don't go crazy tight with these. Keep in mind the engine is aluminum and you really don't want to strip out the new threads. The gasket goes on next, but it doesn't quite fit. I'll have to trim it a little bit so it doesn't hit the cooling fins on the cylinder. Finally, clean up the exhaust pipe sealing surface before installation. Time to install the exhaust pipe. When I was repairing the threads in the cylinder head, one of the bolts wasn't completely centered, so I had to ovalize the holes in the exhaust pipe using a stepper bit to make it fit the engine. Install the pipe over the threads and hold the muffler above the mounting bracket by the rear wheel. Get the nuts threaded most of the way on, just finger tight for now. This muffler is held on by two metal clamps with rubber directly touching the exhaust. Weird, right? Well, that light silver part of the muffler is actually an outer casing made of aluminum, so it doesn't get as hot as the pipe. Exhaust nuts like to unscrew themselves over time, so Loctite is a good idea here. I installed larger 8mm studs, so I can tighten them more than if I had the stock 6mm studs. The exhaust mounting bolts are 10mm diameter, so they can go nice and tight. The studs, gasket, and tap are pretty cheap, but this repair takes a lot of labor. You have to remove the engine from the scooter to do it, and you have to be very careful to cut the new threads straight. I'm setting the scooter on a block of wood for the next step. This is the main mounting bolt for the engine. Add some grease to the bolt to prevent rust, but don't get it on the threads. Now roll the engine under the scooter and line up the mounting brackets with the bracket on the frame. Hold the engine up with your foot as you slide the bolt through. Add Loctite to the threads. You can't get a socket on the nut, so you'll have to hold it with an open end wrench. Use a 12mm socket to tighten the bolt on the transmission side. Torque the engine mounting bolt to 36 foot pounds. The second thing holding the engine is the shock. Add some Loctite to the bolt, then tighten it to 22 foot pounds. Slide the rear brake cable into the bracket, install the spring, cylinder, and nut. Tighten the brake until the lever feels good. It should get tight about an inch from the handlebar, and if you pull really hard, it should still not touch the handlebar. The wheel should spin freely and should stop when you use the brake. Don't forget to install this bracket that holds the cable. I put everything back together, now let's see if it runs. Did you hear that? That's the sweet sound of exhaust going through the muffler instead of just wherever it wants to. Thanks for watching and remember to check out my Chinese scooter playlist for more repair videos. See you next time.